So what I want to explain to you for this experimentation that we're doing here, it's actually pretty scientific. It doesn't matter what the load is, and this is the fastest way we can test our charging equipment while we wait for our load bank to come in and do our official nice looking test. But obviously you, you look at this and you're like, hey, you know, this looks wonky. But as an electrical engineer, I can tell you this is one of the best ways to, to take the energy out of our charging system and dispose of it through, through a heat source uh, that you can actually observe. From the current meters to the voltage meter here, this is this is just giving you an example of the amount of power that we're putting in here right now. It might seem small, but what you gotta understand is we're running this test slowly and scaling it up. So in addition to testing it that way, we are also testing uh, our charge handle uh, prototype design. So just understand that right now we're doing a half scale. Uh, you gotta take baby steps before you can start running. And so it's, it's encompassing our cable design, our pin and sleeve design for the handle, um, as well as the design that goes into uh, the vehicle from the vehicle inlet. And then on the load side, uh, just you know, telling you straight up, this is exactly what you have in your home water heater. And so, like mentioned earlier, this is perfect for our experimentation. So this is the fastest way to actually show you what we're doing is real. And just, like I mentioned, a fraction of the power you're gonna see coming up soon. So what I'm gonna do right now, since our charging system is set up uh, to the cloud, as Neil explained, we got the framework set up that we can allow the cell phone. This is what it looks like right now. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna set a voltage and a current. I'll give you an example, we'll do 300 volts at, let's say, 40 amps. And we're gonna send the command to the charger to turn on. And as you can see, the current is up. Remember, it's split into two, so the current's divided between the two. And let's take a look at the voltage over here. So we're at a thousand volt scale, so, um, times the number by a thousand. So you'll see that we are approximately, we're running at 40 amps, which is our uh, constant current max limit. So it appears that we are running at about 160 amps. Double check. And if you wanna come over here, let's take a look. Yep, you can see it right over here. So the system is currently outputting 300 volts with a current at 33 amps. So right now it hit the peak, so it's constant voltage stage charging at 300 volts. And so we can change it right here. I just want to show you this. So we're going to reduce it down to 200 volts and send a command. And you can see the command was sent. Now we're maxing out at 200 volts to ensure that the, the battery is not overcharged.